Hi everybody, my name's George. I'm only new to the industry, but today I wanted to do a little bit of a review of one of my favorite Scotch whiskies. It is called the Hyperkai 17 um, Japanese Scotch whiskey, and um, it's pretty good. Uh, I found this bottle um, from my late grandpa. He left it to me. He's also a massive fan of Hyperkai. Hyperkai is one of the best Scotch whiskies uh, on the market at the moment. It says 17 years old, okay? So um, yeah, 17 years old is a long time for a whiskey um, to be um, made. It takes 17 years to make this whiskey. It's ridiculous, okay? So um, how did this come along? Um, I, I did a little bit of research into Hyperkai and it's a Scotch whiskey, obviously. Um, and then what they do is they, they make it with Japanese people because Japanese people are very similar to Scottish people. And the way it worked out, I think it was like 1984 after uh, getting on the piss and drinking a few Scotch whiskies, a fellow by the name of, um, oh, he, he works at a company called Love. Lafroig, 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 whatever. Anyway, uh, I think his name's John Campbell. He was watching. Uh, he was drinking, getting on his his smoky whiskies as they do, you know, in Islas, Isla, Isla. Anyway, but wherever he lives, he was getting on it and. Um, hanging out with his mates and they're watching Karate Kid and they're like, fuck yeah, Karate Kid, this is such a good show. Um, so what he decided to do is after watching Karate Kid, he, he went and visited Japan and um, he hooked up with Daniel-san and Mr. Miyagi and they decided to open up their own distillery um, in Japan. And that distillery, uh, it, it, it's called Miyagi-san, Miyagi-san Limited, and Miyagi-san Limited make Hyberkai 17. So um, anyway, Johnny, Johnny-san, as they call him, uh, in Japan, taught uh, Miyagi-san how to make this really good Scotch whiskey. And um, well, you know, like it's really hard to get now. Um, you know, granddad had to actually die for me to try this. So um, we all love whiskies and everything and uh, look at that color look at that color that's awesome you know so not only is it 17 years old to make um, the way that they make this uh, whiskey at Hyperkai is they will get all different forms of grains and pastas so they will normally do like rice uh, sucky grain um, a little bit of vermicelli noodles um, sometimes they'll use like gyozas and what they'll do is they'll put all these different grains and pasta together into a pot and they'll just like steam it up and, and it's got to be steamed for 16 fucking years 16 can you imagine how long your gas bill is for you to steam up all of these grains and pastas to make Hyberkai 17 because it, it only takes the rest of it's only a year, right? So what they do is they, they mash it all together and they do a thing called fermentation and fermentation normally turns all that pasta and the rice grain and I think it's got like wheat and, and other grains and all that into alcohol. Yeah, and then what they do is they chuck it into a barrel and in the barrel, um, it just sort of sits in there and I think they, they get their barrels from, um, I can't remember, but I think it's 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 an American distillery um, that make bourbon. Um, Jamison, yeah, yeah. So they get their their um, barrels from Jamison. So Jamison bourbon barrels. They'll then age it for about a year, and that's where you get all that colour from because Jamison's really like dark. It's one of the darkest Scotch whiskies that I've ever seen in my life. So anyway, let's give it a bit of a try and a nose and we'll see how it goes because um, this is the last of my Hyberkai. So yeah. Automatically, I'm getting spaghetti noodles. Like I'm not sure if it's spaghetti noodles, but there's definitely some pasta in there. 
It could be ravioli, but yeah, look, there's definitely like a, a Japanese ravioli. Oh, no. Nah. That's better than ravioli. This is like, you know, the really good handmade shit. Um, sushi, that's it. It tastes a lot like sushi. But sushi stronger, like alcoholic sushi. That's like, that's a pretty good scotch whiskey if it tastes like really high grade because like we get this really shit sushi here in Geelong. You can buy like two bucks and it's got hardly no prawn in it, just avocado and rice. But if you go to the good place and pay like four bucks for a sushi roll, you get heaps of prawn out. This is like that equivalent. It's got that really good Japanese scotchness about it. So yeah. Um, how would I drink this? It's a little bit strong. It's 43% um, alk slash vol. So 43 alk slash vol is, is probably like stronger than that. But um, I like the color in it, you know, like I don't know what they've added to change the color on it, but it's, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Like I would definitely go out and buy this. I don't even know how much this costs. Probably like 20 bucks or something like that because grandpa was a bit of a tight ass and for him to actually leave me some if it was expensive I know he wouldn't have he would have definitely left it to my sister because she's <laughs> and everyone in the family hates her like loves her and hates me and it pisses me off because I really think I'm the smart one in the family and it upsets me and I think that you know when I become famous as a YouTube like master spirit reviewer I'm gonna say fuck you sister and fuck you to everyone else because I'm gonna make it so please like and subscribe because I'm going to make it because I'm really good at what I do. So anyway, how am I going to mix it? Oh, we all know how I'm going to mix it. There is a drink that's been around for a really long time and it is called a boiler maker because I really checked this on the internet. And a boiler maker was whiskey and beer. Oh shit. Sorry. Sorry, just didn't want to make a mess. So, whiskey and beer work together. They're called boiler makers. This is what this is my thing. It's it's called the atomic hibaki. Hibakai. Atomic hibakai. It needs. Oh, I shouldn't say atomic, should I? Because I think a, a bomb dropped on Japan like in the 1940s. I can't say atomic. I can't. We're not going to use atomic. Um, oh, that's not really politically correct, is it? So we're, we're using Foster's Lager. Foster's Lager works really, really well with Scotch whiskey anyway. So, um, yeah, let's give it a try. Yeah. That's added a really nice maltiness to uh, the Hibakai because Hibakai works well, really well with malt. Um, I think you should give it a try. That's enough for me. Um, please subscribe to me. Um, my name is George, George uh, Cos Beckworth. And um, look me up on YouTube. Uh, I really know my shit. And I hope to see you again soon on my channel. And um, Domo Arigato. Hey, Scotch whiskey. Good shit. Bye.